here's all my fetishes are coming up. They know what they trying to do to me, man. <laughs> What's the muscle boss? Me ski ball. Sky! Yeah! And welcome back to some rain code. That's right, rain code. Where we're solving mysteries. Unsolved mysteries. We're the greatest detective alive, baby. Let's go. And I've been thinking about this game all day today. And figuring out how the freak he killed them four in that train. As y'all remember, Zilch is the one that killed the people on the train. So yeah. And I've been thinking about this mystery ever since. So I hope I can finish this all in one video. I'm really hoping. But y'all do hit that like button for videos and don't forget your bell and us. I'm gonna say I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Let's back on some point, baby. <laughs> you almost said that. Right, now we chase him. in the first car's infirmary wasn't me. But dang. But Apex? But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? I still feel like the, the one of the cars switched. My dude is fast as frick. Or I'm just freaking weak and slow, bro. What the fuck? I caught up with you now. That didn't blind me like a murder mother effer. Oh, uh, now we on railroads. Oh, I can move now? Okay. What we got to- what we got- uh, there's a fork in the road. Well, rail, but I- Where did he run off to? Another mystery when moving the body from car 1 to car 5 to corporate- I'm gonna say did not. He'd gone outside the train instead of through it. He could have passed us. No, that's impossible. 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 Okay, we get it. Impossible. 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 Here comes that persona music. Ah, Zilch turned into a mystery phantom. Get it, Master! Boom, kill him until there's only a sorry slab of flesh left. I fight your mind. Blackout shaking. If they didn't pass through the train, do you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. No, that's right. The door's locked when the train is moving. We know oh. the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, hold on, hold on. there's no way to get out while the train is moving. I mean, get a point. No issues occur during the train's operation. No, that's wrong. This is the truth. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. Yeah. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I think something messed up. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. <laughs> Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? The 
it's already played. I'm just playing it back up. Forget the shaking and the blackout. But they were nothing but coincidences. No, no. The blackout was just a bad contact. Nope. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. Nope. There's nothing odd about that. No. Nope. It's all just a coincidence. No. Nope. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. No. Nope. Oh, was I supposed to do something? Just a bad contact. Am I supposed to? Okay, I was like, no, because I was like, was I supposed to do the story of play or that one? Okay. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. Oh, my bad. I keep doing that. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Mm-hmm, you know, but the... During that one second when the system switched over. Yeah. Explode. All right, back. Get back on the train again. Hey, he ran away. A fleeing phantom is a bad phantom. Is there such a thing as a good phantom? After him, you gotta keep solving the mystery and prove kill that mystery phantom. Yes, ma'am. But uh, hey. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse is moved? The failed main control system was in par one, where the body swap occurred. Mm -hmm. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. Mm -hmm. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. No. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. No. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... My boy again! <laughs> I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. Sure, you'd be used to that by now. The main control system was lost when car one so was. This is the question we're facing right now. Ugly. Was uh. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? I think I know what's trying to spell. Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. You gonna knock me out? Well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> the main control system failing. The blackout. The train shaking. Are you really thinking? Oh yeah. Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel. That was caused by the main control system failing. You got nothing, do you? But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because. Uh, you ain't got nothing. Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout, too? After the whole train shook, the blackout. Oh my goodness, stop. <laughs> just, yeah, just stop. Yeah. Just stop! I I get it. I think I know what's go I think I know what's happening. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was. 
Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! Special Beach episode, let's go! Let's go! Let's see bikinis. I know what it is, I know what it is, I know what it is. I've, I've been thinking about this all day, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I forget how to shoot. What? I mean, if I... Okay, I didn't do nothing. Okay. Now I give you this key. Maybe something happened to the train when it shook. What was I supposed to? No, because it, no, I can't. I thought it would be changed. No, bro, I'm telling. Derailed. Wait, what? <laughs> we start from last checkpoint. Age? No. Detached. I don't know how to spell detached. No. Okay, I'm about to just. I'm about to start shooting things. The. How you spell detached? Um, okay, 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 now I know, okay. I was thinking of change, then what happened the first time? D10, okay. Detached, thank you. I was thinking of changed, but okay, I guess detached could work. There she go, how lovely bikini. Scrumptious! Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? I've been, as I've been saying. Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Are you don't believe me? Um, Master, I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. Why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Watch out! Again? Ah! There it is again! It's bigger than ever! How much longer will this keep happening? I'm gonna keep cutting my neck. I feel like I'm gonna suffocate. Cut my neck. You gotta cut my neck. Now is not the time to be suffocating. You're suffocating me right now. Again? The body was transported along with the entire. We need to resolve the mystery at hand. Car. Given that the first car was cut off, so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see what happened. As I've been Got saying it. the whole time! Because that was the only thing that made sense! I've been thinking about this 
Oh, freaking dang! I kid you not, I've been thinking about this all day, bro. Try to solve it, lickety split! Car, 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 car! Shoot the R, shoot A. That's not R, that's an A, what? Car! Now show me that body girl. Ooh, a ooh. How you doing, my guy? That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. So it may look like it was the fifth car. Transported the corpse? With the entire car. So it may look like it was actually the fifth. Nonsense. Oh gosh. Ah! My goodness, my dude, calm down. Not the serious. The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? The map, the map shows that. You know uh, that, right? Um. The map shows it. Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. How many have you seen? Calm down. Stay calm. Think. You got this, my guy. You are the How's child of Makoto and Kyoko. And fifth cars. Is literally on the I map. Can that. I can solve this mystery once and for the all. The map. I'm the map! I'm the map! The freaking door the explorer! Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and you mentioned the blackout? The map! The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Reconnecting. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. No, no, I got it. Master, here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. I always forget to take the battery out of the thing real quick. Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing. I mean, I made it this far. Because they're all wrong from the very beginning. No, I made it this far, so I think you're right. I'm going to try to solve this mystery in one video. If I can't, I apologize. Red herring, root map, disorder plate. So it shook twice near the tunnel. Okay, no, you're right. right That'd be the root map. You mean the train car was separated and reconnected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one. Ooh, you gotta trick me out. We moved to the rear. The train was always running on the same track. I mean, you're right. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm okay, right, right. Ooh, I did that right in time. I was just making sure I got the right one. <laughs> Not all the cars were moving on the same track. Yeah. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. Got you, my boy. The 
explanation time. Before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> but that won't make no sense though. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. Okay, that did get me thinking again. Wait a minute, but... The whole system will supply electricity as programmed to drive Wait, wait, train. wait, wait. Wait, hold on, but... But wouldn't that make it car 60? Wait a minute. No, I, I get there's five cards, but... Unless a car was missing... You can't make that. That would then that would make it look like you're six cars instead of five. So unless there was a car missing, that's the only explanation. I don't unless a car miss. I don't know. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up! I'm still lost on the number of cards for cards, crazy. though. That's what's confusing me. Huh? What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. Which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. That was messing me up. So that's what's messing you're me telling up. Me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car. Oh, you're right. See, that's what's messing me up. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong. I feel like unless there's a car that was no, that was missing. You're not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. Unless. I will prove it to you. Oh yeah, look at that confidence. Here we go again. From the start, the Express was a blank card train. I was right. I wouldn't even try to be right that time. That one, that was a simple guess. <laughs> that was a simple guess. The only, that was a guess. I didn't know it was actually four because it, it, I guess it does make sense, but my gosh, I did not expect that to be right. That ain't do shrunk. The Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, Car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be. I've been thinking about this case all day, and her words was struck me the most. Broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. And then switched, and then okay. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. That makes sense. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there... Was their car. Was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. The real car one was waiting at the station's platform, and all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. 
Of course. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <laughs> If there was another car one, then there would be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary would be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? Okay, I didn't even notice that detail. So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. So I was hearing things. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Zilch! Did that dead yet, though? my hand on the laptop. Oh my goodness. We gotta go up there? Everything feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Okay, babe. I got you, babe. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. True. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? Ah, oh, that's gonna give it a reading. Okay, I was there. Do I have to walk all the way up here? What is this? Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. Hmm. You can't have the truth. I will have it's the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Nah, I, nah, I'm gonna find a way to break it. Don't worry about it. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. But how are you gonna get rid of the fort? Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. Bet. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time! Oh, we just walk in? I got that. It was like, so we just walk in? Oh, yeah, he's dissing himself. And. Okay. 
Okay. Now you put the whole freaking. He building wall. Walls. Oh my. Here's. All oh my fetishes are coming up. They know what they trying to do to me, man. <laughs> oh, Shigami, baby, we gotta go. Shigami's tutorial corner. Ah, Shigami, to overcome the last damn phantom, tear through all obstacles with the mega size god, uh, great onset destroyer, me. Okay. Also, um, all you artists out there, don't y'all even get the right idea. Also, I did my research. Y'all some nasty mother. Okay. Do this, master. Oh, so this is so awesome. This is a B. Okay. Blast away the giant gang balls from the fortress from Phantom Fortress with A, which is basic kick. Listen, move. Let's say attack. I won't let you. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm going for, I'm nervous to forget the controls. <laughs> yes, sir. And then jump. Jump. Okay. Kick. Take a jump. Okay. Kick. Okay. Ram. Ram again. Ram again. Ram it. Oh, I'm, I feel like I'm scared. I'm scared to figure it out right now. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Hang on, I don't know about that. Even God, even I feel so wrong for saying this. <laughs> God, me can't destroy without a solution key. Open up solution key to pick the key to contract it. Okay, then there's only this one. You're wrong. There you go. Huh? Come on. Cut it. Cut it. No, Cut it. There are Cut it. Of a swap. Cut it. The warp plate from part five. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. And that's why the car looked like a mess. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Then booby though. Let's go, mommy. Kick it. Kick it again. My dog is opening doors. Why are you open the doors, my boy? Ram it. Ram it. Ram it. Ram it. Just ram it. Jump it. Ram it. Ram it. Ram it. Ram it. Kick it. Go, 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 go. Dang, man. You look. She is so fine. So there's nothing backing up your deduction. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Hold on, hold on, give me. Like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Good luck, Master. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. But the infirmary in the car file was locked from the inside. It was a small amount, but wait, hold on. Does this work? There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. <laughs> oh yeah, with the window. When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the inner lock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. 
My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. Ram it. This Cut it down. The truth of the case. Cut it down. Are we still going? The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. The only reason I said control room was because he's on their side. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. The my same thing can right there. Blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No. It's not me. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off! Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can! Bet. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, that pose is cool though. Oh, it's like the oh they even put that the freaking um finale thing. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> the finale thing in here. Deduction denouncement. Time to expose the deduction announcement is where the truth is made clear by think I'll think okay. If you have played thing thing in wrong, but you understand. Uh, place the correct pieces, okay. Lock. Once every gap is filled with a P, the finale revealing all this will be unraveled. Everything has been leading to this moment. Okay, so, okay he's trying to catch up to the baby. How do I go up though? Oh, okay, I was like, okay. Okay, he's about to go to this train. There we go. Oh wait, what? How do I go to the next page? Oh, it's back. Why did I do that? It's, I keep thinking it's this way. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, what was that? What was used to put the detectives to sleep? Coffee. Oh, 
I don't know why I keep that. I don't know why I keep thinking X is right here. <laughs> like I can't put. Well, thank you, clock. We always use to break the window. Ooh, we know that one, which is the fire screen wisher. And put that over right there. There we go. What's this one? What was you? Oh, one broke? Something broke. That was in. Not got drugs. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, then go back one. To a two. Then drug. There we go. There goes another lock. Bob. Wait, but I missed the page right there. Um, what was used as the red herring? The freaking knife and cushion. That goes there. Bob. I like what he looks like with the hat. Okay, what was the culprit? Well, oh no, where he was hiding. Bop. Boom. Complete. Okay, what happened when car one was detached? What was the culprit doing in the main control room? My boy was hiding in there. What'd you think? He was messy, but he, he was tempering with the thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain is coming together. What happened when car one was detached? Blackout. Bump. Kind of bump, bump, bump. He started, and he started burning everybody. I was really shut that part. Uh, um, where? What did the culprit burn? Look, my bed. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who is the culprit? <laughs> you know it's my boy Zilch, man. Mystery unraveled, baby. Express, which was on its way to Kanaiwa. Mm -hmm. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. Yeah. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because you were fast asleep in the Lost and Found Master. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. Mm -hmm. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. The culprit who was the first person on the train so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I mm -hmm. felt unwell, and Melamine went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill, but it was actually the drug. Yes. Uh, so you thought yours truly 
who was responsible? Sticks and stones don't do much to a big fire, but slander stings. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby. The culprit sent me off to call one in order to find me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but. Since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. Culprit Ben burned everyone to death. Setting all those master detectives on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! My boy was crazy. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Better have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought chivalry was dead! What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. What? A knife and cushion created the red herring. Hell of a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While they were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and time. Mm. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of Silch in the infirmary. Lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. Just like a magic trick! A switching places under a veil of smoke! Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Smash the window. Unlock the room and went inside. Mm -hmm. Just like the culprit planned. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zilch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. Mm -hmm. The culprit had me completely fooled. Why they picked the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. Mm, 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 mm. I bolted out of mm, car mm, one mm. after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time, huh? Mm, mm, they probably mm. laughed at you from there, but never did it go with the plan. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. Caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So when the train shook, was there or was there not to be Take a guess. While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work. Preparing to disguise car one as car five. Mm -hmm. What about the juggling? Huh? First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the car one number plate was burned. So that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. 
This time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. The train, mm -hmm. which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, mm -hmm. I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. The culprit riding in car one attached it to the back of car four. You make a little car four. That caused more shaking. There was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. After that, Ooh, the blouse. blouse took car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. Culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse. I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. Mm -hmm. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Until I saw the knife mark. The train arrived in Kana War. It connected to a different, prearranged Car 1. And with that, the train once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! The piece of the were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amaterasu was in on it! That really turns me on! You mean, this is me off, right? Please. During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. For the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the Master detectives, the culprit faked their own death mm -hmm. and tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold blooded scheme. And the evil dealer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than. And Alexander. Alexander. That face, though. Yes! This is the truth I've uncovered! Yes, sir! Am I like a sucker? Is that Please, it? Please, tell me. What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? You don't lose on my body? <laughs> now it's time for the main event. What? Here we go. It's my time to show. What? What are you about to do? Ooh. Searching bloodlust. Ooh. Interesting. Overflowing despair. Nice view, though. The thrill of soul of Shinigami. Shall we sponge this cursing face? Get into all the world.
Okay. Now murder my man to death. They slap my butt and call me a meme toad. What the frick is happening? Everything exploded. Oh, now we're back. Huh? We're back? What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in So, the how is going to work? Huh? Okay, I'm so wait, so wait, what happened? Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going I'm on? I'm like him. What? Shinigami, are you listening? I guess not. Get him! Wait, I know who the culprit is. What? It's Zilch. He's still alive. He framed me. What are you talking about? He's already dead. Not Huh? But shut up! This is not up for this. Oh yeah, I forgot he's uh, he's he, he's part of it. Time. Take him away! Shinigami, where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm right here. So what's the, what is? Oh, she's back to the annoying. You're so cute when you panic. So why ahead to enjoy the view for a bit? Stop playing around! Why, Why is the real world your jerk? He must be hallucinating. Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! What? He's dead! Looks like it's over. Huh? Oh! What's over? Shinigami. Oh, he gone? killed them. Did you kill There's only a surprise to pay. She killed them. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. Which means dead. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. The source perishes? So he... <gasps> Don't tell me. Yeah, she did it. That's right. The true culprit dies. Then that report saying Silge, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. Are you proud of that? You're now innocent and free to go, Master. A happy ending. The roll credits! There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. What? Okay. Okay. What? Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our... my eyes... was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. Oh. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? Oh. What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation! <clears throat> no, um, I didn't mean... No, 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 don't stay, stay on ground. Stay on ground. Hey, don't 
Don't surrender so easily. You are so. I'm like, cuz, dang your grandma, boy. That does it. You're under arrest. They gonna arrest me for okay, so they gonna arrest me. Listen, you got it? no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Take him away. They gonna take me away. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. Mm hmm. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you, your punishment might be kind of brutal. Mm -hmm. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It's like the suckers. It's like the suckers. <sighs> Thank goodness that worked out. Who you know? Who is he? Beats me. Who you? How you doing, man? Well... Hi. I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Thanks. Who the heck are you, man? It must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. Yako Furio. Furry, boo, foo, rio, foo, ya, oh, goodness. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency, and the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Mm -hmm. Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Oh boy. Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. 
Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about this incident. Um, right. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward. Dang. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. So basically, they just this so is a version of prison. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight, kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> Right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. The results of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. So Silch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand, and used as a disguise. Ooh. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. There was a separate first car, the station before you arrived, where Zilch's body was hidden. Okay. Okay. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward, and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Yep, I see. Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Now she's back to a grape. I'm sad. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Hmm. Oh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. I'm doing here up and end this. My goodness, this is taking longer than I thought. I want them shoes though. That the is that the actual Who's that guy? Beats me. Chapter Zero completed? I see, I see. Once the culprit's boom killed, you'll get a reward based on how well Master did inside the mystery lever. You get reward for each overall this? rating between <laughs> SS to C. Not only do you, 
rewards for receipt for the re rating you receive, but every rating below it. So try shooting for the top. I know I messed up on one thing. Oh yes, 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 yes. See, of course. I'll, I'll take it. 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 Oh yeah, but but y'all, I'ma end this video right here. We done finished chapter zero. My dog is looking at me saying, "You better get ready to finish this record right now." We're done with the video. We're done with the mystery. We done beat the silly chat on game. Freaking, we done beat the Amazon. Amazon. The A. Corn. Whatever that uh, freaking government name thing is. We're gonna do it. Don't like, don't comment, videos, and don't forget to bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.